Pope Francis belongs to the Jesuits, the religious order whose members take an unusual, and this week seemingly ironic, vow, not to strive for a higher office. The Jesuits' culture of modesty and self-effacement was on full display in recent days, with Catholics worldwide regaled by reports that the new Pope had opted to take the bus back from the Sistine Chapel with the other cardinals and then stopped by his hotel to pay his tab. For Jesuits and people who have gone to Jesuit-run schools or who belong to parishes run by the order around the world, the concept of one being at the helm of the Catholic Church required some mental gymnastics. I'm in shock that we have a Jesuit Pope. This is just not our mindset. We don't look for these kinds of offices, the Ref. Thomas Smolich, President of the Jesuit Conference of the United States, said Friday. The idea that, it blows the mind. The largest Catholic order, made up of priests who belong to their own communities and have their own leadership, the Jesuits were founded by Saint Ignatius of Loyola, a 16th century Spanish warrior turned priest. In recent decades they have made building up their network of schools in Latin America and India the top priority, but for centuries their base had been high-quality universities in Europe and the United States, including Washington's Georgetown University. Within the confines of Catholicism, Jesuits are generally seen as left-leaning and have burnished the reputation as questioning intellectuals who are open to debate. They are famous for the intensive education they undergo it can't take a decade to become a Jesuit for their required month-long silent retreats and for their theology of finding God in all things. That idea has attracted progressives but turned off some conservatives who think it sounds relativist. Strict adherence to doctrine is not typically a focus of Jesuits and Jesuit institutions are magnets for Catholics who disagree openly with church orthodoxy on issues such as celibacy or female priests. But neither do Jesuits tend to rally publicly against church teaching. Politically speaking, Francis is an atypical Jesuit. As a cardinal in Argentina, he led a public fight against same-sex marriage, although reportedly after failing to broker a deal supporting civil unions, and has said that gay adoption is a form of discrimination against children. There are no data on whether the typical Jesuit disagrees with the new Pope and official church teaching on matters such as gay marriage. But questioning the Jesuit on hot-button sexual topics usually elicits a non-judgmental response. We are called to encounter cries in the people we meet. The typical Jesuit starting point is the experience of people, Smolich said. Out of that, we might be more nuanced or more sensitive or more compassionate in terms of how various church teachings are experienced by people in the pews. On the other hand, the new pontiff's emphasis on uplifting the poor and marginalized is very much in keeping with a Jesuit mission. They take a vow of poverty and have been focused in recent decades on Latin America, home to the world's largest economic inequality gap.